Good morning, Clay Chalkville. This is Laura Fikannon. Welcome back to Keeping Up with Clay Chalkville. This is our first episode of the 2018-2019 school year. This episode will feature activities and hobbies that our students and teachers do outside of school. Let's get into it. In this first segment, you're going to find out some secrets you didn't know about some of our teachers. I would travel. I don't know, I would really like to travel. Travel. If I had the one option to do whatever I wanted to, I would travel the world, see all those animals that I love. And... So basically I have a zoo in my backyard. Uh, we have monkeys, we have cranes, we have lemurs, all kinds of animals that we kind of take care of. And uh, it's, it's basically a full-time position, making sure that they're all well taken care of. Um, over the summer, I started playing Fortnite. Um, I am not proud of this, but this is something I do almost, not every day, but a few times a week. When I get home from school, I'll play Fortnite. Um, my husband and I like to take turns. Um, <laughs> neither of us are very good. <laughs> so I've never broken a bone, but when I was three years old, back in a long time ago when we didn't have to wear seat belts and kids could ride in the front seat, I vividly remember thinking, I wonder what would happen if I opened the door while the car was moving. And I opened the door while we were going around a curve and tumbled out of the car. And I have a big giant scar where I busted my chin wide open. Uh, one time I um, thought that I broke my leg. Um, some of my students actually know this story. Um, it actually happened when I was in high school. I was a student, I think I was a sophomore that year. Just started driving to school. Um, I was walking to my car after school um, and I was in the process of getting into my own car and I was hit by another car in the parking lot. Yes, I have broken my right arm. It was in college when I was learning how to rollerblade and uh, I had yet to master the art of braking. And I had the bright idea that I was going to go down this sidewalk. Well, next to the sidewalk was a brick wall that kind of followed down. The hill will goes down, turns sharp left, and then goes back down. The wall followed it. All I remember is thinking that I can stop myself by holding my arms out. It didn't work out that way. Do you have trouble deciding where to eat after school? Well, Gabby's here to help you find your after school snack. If you ask the average student their favorite subject in school, this would most likely be their answer. Lunch. 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 It's lunch. Lunch. Whether we like to admit it or not, we all like food more than we realize. For me personally, the first thing I think of when I get into class after school is what can I get as a snack? Today, I will be giving helpful tips on a weekly after-school fast food snacks that are affordable yet tasty. Next on my list is Sonics, an everyday favorite for kids, teens, and adults. Sonics make for a great after-school snack as they have small, yet delicious meals to satisfy anyone until dinner time. On Thursdays, Sonic offers half-price drinks and slushies, as well as 99-cent corn dogs during happy hour from 2 to 4 p.m. Next up is a late night snack time favorite, Taco Bell. On Tuesdays, Taco Bell offers a $5 box. There are often two to three options. Right now, the featured meals for this deal are double cheese gordita crunch, nacho fries, and chalupa craving, all of which include a taco or a burrito of some sort. All $5 boxes come with a refreshing medium drink of your choice. Next, I have a place that is sure to steal the hearts of soup, salad, and sandwich lovers everywhere, Panera Bread. 
On Wednesdays at Panera Bread, with an entree and drink purchase, you will receive any sweet treat pastry of your choice for only 99 cents. We have a popular favorite, Captain B's. This fast food restaurant serves everything from crab to lobster to shrimp. On Mondays, Captain B's features a five under five. This special gives you a choice between five different seafood meal combinations, all under five bucks, a deal that no seafood lover can resist. Most of you have probably seen an unfamiliar face in the hallway. Let's get to know our new assistant principal, Mr. Reed. My name is Andrew Reed, and I'm the assistant principal uh, for ninth grade and then half of 11th grade. Uh, most of my career, I've been a teacher. Uh, the last eight or nine years, I taught at McAdoo Middle School on the other side of the county, so it's all social studies. I went to a lot of schools, but uh, my undergrad, I went to Alabama, Roll Tide, and uh, I started teaching. I also went to West Alabama for my master's and I went to Sanford for my administration certificate. Uh, I love exercise, try to stay active and try to stay fit, whether it's working out or playing sports. Uh, also, big Alabama football fan, so I'm always watching Alabama, especially in the fall. I've been married to my wife Kristen now for a little over seven years. We have two boys, uh, Jackson is five and then AJ is nine, almost ten months. I really wanted to be an assistant principal for a while and really it was about finding the right opportunity and uh, once this job came open and I was able to interview with Mr. Lee and, and kind of just learn more about the school, I felt like this was a great spot for me to start my career as an administrator. My business plan is really just to get in the community. Uh, from what I've seen so far, I mean, great students, great teachers. Uh, I'm just honored to be a part of Clay Chalkville family and uh, I just really want to make an impact on people's lives. We sat down with some of our athletes to ask them about what it's like balancing school and sports. Let's see what they said. Many of you know that athletes dedicate their time to sports, but many of us don't get to see what happens behind the scenes. Athletes put in a lot of work in order to improve their skills and they sacrifice many things too. We pulled a few athletes to the side and questioned them about this. Take a look. Uh, my name is Lauren Scott and I play volleyball. My name is Kaylee Johnson and I play basketball. My name is Akiva Tellis and I play basketball. And my name is Trinity Brown and I play basketball. I'm Cameron. I play tennis. I'm Kelsey and I play <laughs> tennis. My name is Raymond. I play volleyball. My name is Mario. I play football for Clay. My name is Chris Corner. I play football for Clay and MMA. <laughs> My name is Justin Bonner. I play football for Clay Charlie. I'm Alex Rohr. I play football for Clay and I do Friday. Yes, we've been pressured in sports. It's hard because we get yelled at. We be mad, but we try to push through it and still try to win the game at the end. You gotta break past your limits, you know what I'm saying? I had to give up everything except healthy foods. No, no. I still eat what I want to eat. And sometimes I just run it off everybody. Sometimes you be like conditioning stuff, you sometimes you gotta give up the little you lunch food. Yeah. You just have to manage it out. Right. Oh no, I still eat everything. Same. And candy. And potato chips. Nope. I mean, mm -hmm. no. Yes, we have. Like during the breaks, we have a break. Yes, the tournaments. Ooh, chat. <laughs> they be something, but yeah, it's, it's worth it at the end. We have had to practice on weekends for tournaments. Yeah. 
and getting along with your coach and your teammates and it's all about having fun. Um, keep good grades, be focused, and be patient. Um, be ready, be ready to give up your time, sleep, all that. You gotta be dedicated to what you're doing. And just, uh, even when things hit the wall, just keep your head up and keep on moving. Yeah, just eat well, sleep well, and train well. Come, Come support, support the Lady Cougars, Cougars basketball team. <laughs> now, some helpful tips from Miss Cher about getting a job while still in school. Good morning. I'm Miss Cher. I'm the co-op coordinator here at Clay Tawville High School. Just wanted to give you some information about the child labor laws and how to find a job. Uh, Alabama child labor law says that if you are 14 or 15 years old that you must have a, an enrollment form stating that you are enrolled at the school. You can pick one of those up in the main office. Also if you're 14 or 15 year old, you cannot work past 7 o'clock on a night preceding a school day, which would be Sunday through Thursday, and you cannot work more than 8 hours a week. So it's going to be really difficult for someone who's 14 or 15 years old to find a job right now. Not impossible, just a little challenging. If you're 16 years old, you cannot work past 10 o'clock on a night preceding a school day. Again, that's Sunday through Thursday. However, on Saturdays and Fridays, you could work midnight, two o'clock, depending on the business. So those are some tips that you need to know when you're looking for a job. Also, when you're out looking for a job, there's a couple things you can do. You can sign up for My Remind. It's on my office store. You can also sign up on websites like snagajob.com. They will send you emails based on your preferences, location, what you're looking for. Also, when you're looking for a job, make sure that you have your information needed when you fill out an application. Some businesses still use paper. Some businesses want you to go online. So create entry to go online. So create a note. Um, that one? Create a note on your phone and put all your important information on there. Your name, address, phone number, your references, names, address, phone numbers, contact information, where you work, what you're looking for. Go ahead and put all that on your notes so that when you're filling out that job application, you'll be prepared. applying for a job, working, and earning school credit, you can apply for co-op. You can apply as long as you are 16 years old and you will be a junior or senior. So if you are interested in co-oping second semester, those are the requirements. If you're interested in co-oping next year, you must be in 10th or 11th grade this school year and will at least be 16 by the time school starts. You can pick up an application in my office which is on the same hall as the cafeteria. Don't delay. Last but not least, here's one more student teacher to tell you about what they do outside of school. You might ask, what goes on in the lives of our students and teachers after school lets out? We'll take a look at one of our fellow Spanish teachers, Ms. Battle, and fellow students, Zach Jones, as they share what they do after school hours. Evening is what I usually do after a 45 minute drive home. I usually um, start cooking dinner right away and while dinner is cooking, of course, I'm watching a Denzel Washington movie on television. 
I spend a lot of my time outside of school uh, playing my guitar and eating really and just playing video games, but that's about all I do. With summer coming to an end, we went around Clay Chapel and asked people what are five things that they do after school. Here's what they had to say. I stretch, I play with my dog, I do my homework if I have any, watch TV and I sleep. Food, dance, band, uh, chicken, food. Eat, sleep, twerk, write, sleep, homework. Eat, sleep, listen to music, chores, and homework. Fortnite, 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 and Fortnite. Eat, clean, work, Netflix, YouTube. Work, eat, Homework and sleep. Eat, clean, I work out and stretch, do my homework, and watch YouTube. Okay, I gotta work, then I study, then I eat, then I do homework, then I clean the house. Sleep, shower, eat, play video games, make music. Homework, study, clean, eat, go to sleep. Thanks for watching our first episode of our second season of Keeping Up with Clay Chalkville. Tune in next episode to find out more about your school.